Hey guys, it's Cortez here, bringing you a quick tutorial on how to make realistic grunge textures by yourself without having to download them or anything or find them. Um, I've gotten a lot of requests for this, so I decided to do it. Um, this one's going to be really quick. I already put out the text and everything just so I don't have to do how to show how to do all that. If you want to know how to do all that, look back a couple videos and I have my secret on how to make really good looking text. So what you're going to do is you're going to come to new material, you're going to double click on that material, and you're going to come to color. Then when you're on color, on the texture you're going to click this little arrow and go to load image. When you load your image, you look for some grunge textures that you have that you can download off the internet from anywhere really. Um, Let's find a good grunge one. I have so many textures. Let's see. Oh wait, nope, that's music textures. Hmm. Here. Actually, I think... Yeah, this one will be fine. So I'm going to choose this one, and you're going to press yes when it says that, and you'll see that it'll come up with that texture there. And then <clears throat> what you want to do is go to copy channel, you're going to click on this again and press copy channel, and then you're going to come to bump, you're going to check bump, and you're going to go to this arrow again and press paste channel. And here you can change it to whatever type of here you can see that it changes how it looks like um, you can choose whatever kind you want there's a bunch of different ones that you can choose from it's just up to you really um, I'll just go with this one and then you can increase or decrease the amount of it that you want I don't like to put it too much I usually like to put it around 50 and then you're just going to drag that onto both of those and when you put it at first it's not going to look that nice like it's just going to be just the color and that's actually let me move this back a bit and that is because you want to come here and you're going to see here that it says UV map, UVW mapping and what you're going to do on projection is change that to cubic. And then you'll see that you can see the material now. And then on here you're going to go to seamless. And then now when you render it... I didn't choose the best material. I like the best texture, unfortunately. But yeah, that's basically how it is. Um, and then if you get that little line that you saw there, you can come over here and you can change the offset of it so that the line isn't there and you can also change the length depending on how you want it and then let's see how this looks see that looks a lot better um, if you saw that there was a line there you can just fix that really quick by changing the length of this to more I think there's actually some there too so you can change the length as much as you want. Um, try not to change it too much or else it'll look really ugly. But yeah, it'll come out like that. And it looks really nice, looks really realistic. Um, an example of a good one that I've done with with that is this texture right here which is one that I use a lot and as you see it's still under cubic and seamless and then when I render that it looks really realistic this is one that a lot of people have been asking me for but I'm not gonna give it away yet just yet I might give it away in the future but not for now just cuz it was really hard to find that texture but, um, yeah, that's about it, guys. Um, make sure you leave a like and comment on tutorials that you want me to do in the future. 
and make sure you subscribe for more tutorials and awesome speed arts. All right, see you guys later.